G'day motherfuckers. So I just wanted to show you a few more things on lighting. Um, got a couple of things here that I wanted to show you. Is, uh, the first one here is um, when you're in your screen pressing the A button. So you can actually see the lights. It's pretty good. Uh, as you see the, the colors, how much they're lighting up, all that sort of jazz. Um, which is fantastic. You need that shit. Um, you want to have uh, light markers on when you're doing this of course. And the other thing here is the light radius. So switch on your light radius, nothing will happen straight away, so um, just double click your doover again. And um, boom, you've got circles. Circles showing where your lights are. Now I noticed um, in playing around with this level since last time we spoke also that the uh, the spotlight wasn't actually doing anything. It wasn't spotlightiness. Um, so we'll fix this up in this video. So where'd it go? There it is. Uh, we'll move this over here. We'll face it uh, towards this direction. And we'll hit the A. So we can see, see it's doing nothing. It's doing nothing whatsoever. So, can't even reach the floor. So we'll fix that up, and I'll show you how. It's just double click on it, or right click and go edit. Um, we'll go to uh, light data here. Uh, no, actually we'll go extra first. And um, the radius here, you wanna increase that um, to how far you want it to go. So we'll increase it to 600, and boom. We've got it going to a decent dif distance. And as you can see there, um, there's, it increases the, uh, the little circliness there, um, so you can see what you're doing. Uh, go back in. I don't think that's enough. We'll go. We'll go. Oh, I don't know. Two thousand. I want it to go all the way to the wall. To, I did two hundred. I want it to go all the way to the wall. So there we go. Go to the wall. Boom. Decent spotlight. Um, now it's kind of wide as well um, and not very spotty. So you can um, you can go in here, go to light. You can change your field of view, change it down to, I don't know, 30. Make it a spotlight. Make it actually like specific to where it's going. Um, so we'll increase that again, but uh, I don't know, 45. Just so I can show you this next thing is the fade here. So you can increase the intensity of the light as well um, to, I don't know, we'll go, it's already pretty, pretty bright, so we'll go four. It increases the brightness of the light there. Um, which is great um, you know it's great to be able to see these things happening while you're editing them and have the little circliness and all that sort of jazz um, what else have we got extra here extra um, let's go the light radius the light data where'd it go where'd it go where'd it go where'd it go it's gone there it is um, so field of view fade I'll show you all that beautiful um, now another thing that I wanted to show you was um, pack-ins. So all these lights are just the light markers without like a model for a light. Oh, shut up. You just gotta click. If it's doing the beeping thing, you just click on your on your, your render window and it'll stop doing the, bit, the render thing. So hit your A button again um, and we'll make a pack-in. Um, pack-ins are great. They're great little tools. I've got it open here. Pack-ins. Um, you can just drop in pre-made ones, uh, where's the light, we'll go light, light. and uh, you just drop them in, and it's already there, like, uh, you know, it's got all the bits, all the bits are there, and you know, you go, hey, and you, you can freaking just move this, or maybe you want to just select everything, i just select that, when a pack-in, you can select different parts of the pack-in, oh, I missed the bit, control Z, it doesn't even matter, doesn't even matter with this. You got control. You got a control Z. Freaking. Uh, how do I? Freaking. Uh, it's not letting me do a thing. There's some sort of, sort of bloody thing there. Some sort of. I'll get inside the thing, and it won't matter. Maybe it will. But anyway, you can do that. Um, I'll just delete it. Fuck it. Delete. So I'll drop it in again. So it's all selected. And boom. Oh shit. Oh shit. So there we go. And now it's on the wall. Oh, it's not quite on the wall. Go on the wall, mate. Go on the wall. What's your... Ugh, fine. Turn the, turn the lockiness off and just put it on the wall. There you go. On the wall. So but that's pack-ins, and I'll show you uh, um, how to make them as well. So go back to your render window here, and um, we'll just make a basic one. Just a little bit of a lamp. Um, with... Uh, what do we got here? Lamp. So we get a lampiness from the uh, the static collection here. So a desk lamp, let me have a look. Yeah, that's the one I want. 
I want that one. So I'll get a desk lamp, put him there. And we'll get a spotlight. Where's my lights? Where's the lights gone? They're there somewhere. It doesn't matter. I'll just hit light. I love having a filter here too. I don't think there used to be a filter like that. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there was. Spot. Is that right? No. Spot. Well, might be right, but you never know. If you're not typing it right, it's never going to be right, is it? So spot 01, uh, that's usually the one I think I'm using. And then we've got a spotlight. Uh, that's probably not doing anything. Z it up. Oh, I freaking turned me locking off. Z that bad boy up. And uh, yeah, so we've got a spotlight. So that's there. So now I'm going to turn all the locking off, angle locking, all of it. Because I want to drop this in the spotlight itself, in, in the um, in the duva basically. So, move him over here. As I said, the little exit bits where the light is em emitted from. So, I want that sort of in the light globe. Boom. That's good enough. Anyway, um, so you hit your, your W key, and then you can rotate axes. And we'll have him facing like, sort of like that. Doesn't really matter. You, you can make it more perfect than I am. That'll do. That'll do the job. So we'll see how that looks. There we go. It's a light. So it's a light that actually does stuff as well, which is great. You want it to do stuff. Um, but now what we want to do is we want to save these two items. So I'll hit W because that freaking things annoy annoys me. And you can hold your control, select both of them, right click, and create a packing. And boom. You can make that, um, give it like a, a name we can find. Lampiness and edit in the render, render window because I have found last time I made this it actually it was upside down it's upside down again so put your locking on and uh, 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 select the thing so I can rotate around it freaking there we go so yeah that that's upside down so can buddy select both your things hit the W and rotate that bad boy so it's flat. Or maybe, maybe I don't need the angle locking. Maybe I'll just do it, eyeball it. So, uh, 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 I don't know which one's right. That sort of looks right. Well, that must be the side axis, so that is perfectly straight. So we'll go uh, back to the packing thing and go, um, okay. Go back to our level, uh, cell window, the testiness, and we should be able to just drop this in there. I'll show you. And it'll be a lot. It'll be all made in together, and you can make packing. It doesn't just have to be lights. So there's something that are in there for you to use that are already made. Um, but it doesn't have to just be lights. Um, it can be other stuff. So they're in miscellaneous, all the packings. And drop him in, and there we go. We have a pack-in that we made ourselves. Our own bloody selves. It's a wonderful life. Um, I love it when things actually work. And it does just work, just like Todd says. It just works. So yeah, there's a couple of little things on lighting. Um, just some stuff that I've run into um, to make things a bit easier. So, you know, so that you know what's going on, basically. So you can see while you're editing um, and make, make life easier while you're doing your editiness which is great. Um, so yeah, stay chill, motherfuckers. See you next time.